We have come to B&M and we also have the range here as well and my friend Carmen, she's just trying to squeeze out the car. Do you want to be on my vlog? Just say hi. Hello, hi. this is Carmen. <laughs> um, she's my B&M and the range friend. So she texted me saying, do you want to go to the range? And I was like, yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go and see. She needs like Christmas decorations and I need to just have a little look because you always need a look. So we'll show you what's inside. This nutcracker, I like the colour. Like the tones are there. Do you know what I'm obsessed with? Gonks. They are my new favourite thing. They're just so lovely and cuddly. Oh, this is cute. Little nativity set. Oh, that is actually so adorable. I feel like I need it. But where would you put it? It doesn't come with a manger. They're cute. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I might put them on my, gar on my yeah, garland. Yeah, like dangle down. Yeah. I like this too. These look delightful. Mm. Thorntons, caramel crunch, hazelnut, mint. Are they mint as well? I might get the mint ones. They look too good. Banana jammy dodgers. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I have never seen these before. I don't know how I feel about it though. I need this. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Jingle bells. That's cute. I haven't tasted this either, I don't think. I don't know if it's new to this year, but I think they had it last year, but I don't think I got around to tasting it. Let me get that. See, this is what I mean. Like, b and just has stuff that I've never seen before. I love a um, whole nut chocolate bar, but this is more mm. sage green. Carmen just said this is very on brand for me. <laughs> sage green with leaves on it. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, those two together, what a combo. £1.50, 10 metres. Oh, it's got a broccoli on it. That's adorable. These are adorable, £1.50. They've got some animal treats if you've got a little doggy. Little um, stocking full of treats, which is cute. Ooh, cocoa pop. Oh my God, that feels like nothing. That's so soft. Ooh. Like just cozy vibes. Naughty or nice. Oh, pink Santa Clauses. Adorable. They look like nice stocking fillers. Remind me of the, do you remember the galaxy ones? The yeah, galaxy, no, Milky Way, the Milky, Milky Way, Way crispy, oh crispy rolls. Yes. yes. Oh wow, look, they've got so much stuff. Hazelnut squares. I know. <laughs> Came for decorations, it's just <laughs> full of chocolate. <laughs> oh look, this is what I normally get Rob's dad, it's so easy, like stuff like this. Yeah. Because it's got all of the like liqueurs oh, yeah. in. Yeah. Gingerbread biscuit kit includes cutter. Yeah, cookie mix and cutter. Oh, that's cute. I might do that one day. Oh, there's a girl oh, version. Oh, yeah. Cute. It's a Kiana girl. <laughs> that is a nice cute. basket. Oh, that is nice. I was just thinking, that is nice. Can I get um, Riley's teachers for Christmas? But this is actually really nice. That is lovely. And it's only £25. Pounds. I think it's like in that colour as well. Like the traditional one. Yeah. I prefer this one. This one looks really like um, sophisticated. Yeah. Dairy vanilla fudge, fruit cake, caramelised onion chutney, cranberry sauce, mint crispy creams, soup, tea bags, crackers and shortbread. That's cute. If someone's got a Tassimo coffee machine and then just give them... Yeah. <laughs> then they got two mugs, a long stirring spoon and a packet of latte. Macchiato. Nice gift oh, for a yeah. teacher, isn't it? That's nice. Because they could just keep them in their drawer at work yeah. and then make up some coffees. Even stuff like this, like Rob would love this. Hot sauces. This is the one. Foxes. Mm. And also the top Victoria tier. One. Yes, that and one. the yes. Oh. Top tier. What's your favourite one from here? I don't actually know. This is my one. Every single time. Yeah, I was gonna say one of the chocolate ones. Yeah. I like this one as well. Anything chocolate dipped. A little chocolate dipping set. Shake it up, freak shake, Biscoff. Oh look, Carmen, these would be nice for a teacher. I mean, if they liked Biscoff. Mm. But that's so cute. Look at these. Oh, Comfort and joy. They're adorable. Oh, and this one's got cherries on. These are cute place card holders. What are these? Oh my God, gonk measuring spoons. Oh, stop it. Oh look, see, I really want I'm, you can tell I'm turning old because I want one of those like, you know, the big scenes that you put around the Christmas tree and stuff, like the train track. Oh yeah. I want all of that stuff in this house. <laughs> Isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to get, I think, two of these trees for outside of my front door. Yeah, 
like either side. I think that could be a vibe. I wish they had like a neutral vibe one. But these are cute. They've got sacks. They've even got PJs. Which are these? 18 pounds. They're quite a good size. Oh, I like this one. I actually like the colour of this one. They're actually quite thick. Oh, these are so nice the How much are they? Oh, 30 pounds. That's oh. quite steep, actually. That's I thought it was going to be a tenner. Yeah. yeah, even this wreath is 30 pounds. Yeah. I think that's quite expensive for B&M. Yeah. Some lights in the windows. That's a good price. 30 quid for that massive star. Look at him. It's only 12 pounds. I need to buy him. I think you should get one. No. no what do you mean? He's so cute. How has he not converted you? And then they've got loads of like suction hooks and stuff to hang your lights if you need to. Mm. Toasting set. That is a vibe. Oh, we should get this for girls' night. Yes. Should we get this for girls' night? Yes, that would be you, Could you reuse really this for everything? For yeah. Christmas, for little get-togethers. And you just got to put um, thingy inside. Ooh, okay, I'm not going to get it now because I think we need to sleep on it because I think we're quite impulsive. But I think that is actually a very yeah. good thing. We might even be able to find it cheaper on Amazon. Yeah, maybe. That's really pretty. Isn't it? <laughs> this gonk makes me laugh. It's so plumpy. <laughs> Why is it so fat? <laughs> it's so plumpy. Oh, these are nice. Pine kinds. They're like dangly. I like the Like Pat Butcher earrings. I like this little mushroom bauble thing. They've got picks for the trees. They've got a skirt. Little nutcrackers. This is all the pink section, it seems, which is adorable. If you're a pink person, come to B&M. Ribbon for wrapping your presents. Got like stickers, like tape ribbon. And then they've got Dreaming of a pink Christmas ribbon, that's adorable. Do you know what? I need some thick red ribbon and I have some ordered from Amazon, but I'd prefer it sooner rather than later. Oh, I don't think they've got any. Yeah. Oh, I love all of this. This is so cute. Look how adorable. It's a little car with a Christmas tree on. Over time, I want to build my collection so that I've got like random stuff like this for all over the house. <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> Look, gingerbread advent calendar, half price, 12 quid. And then it's got these tiny little doors, so you can put maybe like little sweets in and they go all around the house. That's so adorable. Cute little snack trays. Oh, gingerbread man. I like these. These are cute. No, they're so For like cute. your hot chocolate and your marshmallows yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, like a little Yeah. Christmas pudding presents, but they light up. See, they'd be nice just like at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Tartan Christmas bows, standard ones. Lots and lots of ribbon in the range. Look how cute this one is. Merry Christmas. This just reminds me of like Elf, the film. They've also got these wreath kits, but instead of putting this on the door, you could actually lay this flat on your dining table and put a candle in the middle. And have it like a centerpiece for the dining table. Oh, this is all like London vibes. See? This is what I'm talking about when I say I want a scene like this for Christmas. This is exactly what I mean. <gasps> oh my God. See, Carmen, you need to jump on this hype because gonks are everywhere. They're taking over. <laughs> We're taking over. I now classify as a gonk. <laughs> Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, look at these. Do you put um, a carrot and a drink out for Santa? What do you mean, no? Stuff. You need to. I think it's just like that's what I remember it makes from. It yeah. yeah. And then they come down. They go. Did he eat it? Yeah. yeah. It's cute. Oh, they're bougie crackers. Look at these. Wow. Very, they're giving me very like Asian vibes. That's what I thought. Very like elegant. Yeah. This is cute, isn't it? Snowmen. They've got nutcrackers. Merry Christmas tree. In a car? Candy canes. I feel like the range is outdone being them a little bit on the Christmas front. She's in a ribbon hole. <laughs> Carmen, how many ribbons have you got in your hand right now? I know. <laughs> Do I need this bubble? I feel like I need it. Do I? I mean, I don't. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get three of these. I like these bubbles a lot. I'm going to get three. They're really pretty. Aren't they? 
Oh, I love this. This Santa Claus painting. Oh, this is giving me um, Miracle on, oh, what is the street? 51st Street or something. He actually even looks like the Santa Claus from that. Have you watched the Christmas film yet? No. I watched Elf. No, not Elf. Um, the, How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Love Actually. Love Actually is my favourite. So good. Yeah. I watched that when I was putting the tree up. Yeah, these are the colours that I kind of have on the tree at the moment. Yeah. When I went through my, like, grey phase <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Everything grey. Nothing can have colour. I don't even need any Christmas decorations. I don't know why I'm buying them. I've done my tree. Why am I going to pick these? <laughs> I wish I could have another tree. I think I could put one in the dining room if I really wanted to, but I feel like they'd be so close together, it'd be like, what's the point? Oh, this is cute. Oh, that'd be nice, like, draped like a garland. Like that. Like, if it was your first year buying a Christmas tree, you didn't have any decorations, you would go wild yeah. in here. Like, you yeah, wouldn't know when to stop. They literally got everything you need for every single room. But, like, Christmas time is the sort of time of the year when things can be slightly ugly, but then they're cute. Because yeah. it's just Christmas. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm back. Back from um, a little shopping haul with my friend. Oh, look at this background. Sorry, I'm so obsessed with this background. Um, back from a little shopping haul. So she needed to get some Christmas decorations. She didn't really find what she wanted because her favourite colour is like a teal colour. Um, but there wasn't really much going on. So we ended up buying just loads of chocolate. So I wanted to show you some bits that we bought. I ended up picking up this Thornton's Mint Crispy Creams. We've just done a taste test. So she got the hazelnut version. I've got the mint one. They kind of taste a bit like Viscounts, you know, the green wrapped chocolate dunked biscuits that have like a mint cream centre. They pretty much taste like that, but they've also got like a Rice crispy top. I'm not 100% sure if I'm obsessed with them, but it's a nice little Christmas treat. So I've got those. I also picked up these Bailey's chocolate twists, which look incredible. I need to get some whipped cream and that these I'm going to do like one or two on top of whipped cream on top of a hot chocolate for like a little treat on some evenings. I just feel like that would be so lovely. And I think they were like a pound or two. I also picked up this more with mixed roast nuts dairy milk chocolate bar. It says new at the top. I've never seen this before. It feels nice and thick. Like, I love a chocolate bar that looks and feels like this. It gives me, like, Willy Wonka vibes. I don't know if you know what I mean, but, like, you know in Willy Wonka when they've got the chocolate bars and they're, they're like, thick like this? It just makes me feel like the chocolate's going to be good. And I love a whole nut dairy milk bar. So the fact that it's got more and they're roasted, I feel like could be really tasty. Should I do a taste test? Right, let's do a quick taste test of all of them. I'm going to end up feeling sick after this. I'll just do a little half square. I'll show you what they're like inside. Oh, that smells good. So I don't know if... Oh! I don't know if it's necessarily that there are more nuts in it, but I think that they're roasted nuts. Look at the back of that. So yeah, they... Squares are quite big, actually. So each square... I'm not going to be able to do a whole square. I'm just going to take a big bite off of one of them. Mmm. Mm. yeah so it's what i thought which is that it's roasted so it's kind of that you know it's got that specific taste that's really nice i think that with a cup of tea in the evening would be really nice i've already tasted the mint crispy creams they are nice as i said they taste like by accounts and then let's do a baby's 12 or baby's chocolate twist rather again i'm just gonna have a little nibble of one packet looks like this and then I think you get a fair few amount in there they kind of remind me of chocolate fingers mm. Mm. they are stunning that is so so nice I'm gonna give the rest of this to Rob but so I don't know if you can see the inside of it is like really creamy and like gooey and it's proper liquid it's not like a thick cream it's kind of like much more liquidy and you definitely get the baileys kick from that 100 percent. that's quite strong actually i reckon a couple of those on top of a baileys hot chocolate would be lovely um i also bought this winter mint crisp limited edition 
I love mint chocolate. If you haven't already seen a bit of a theme happening, I absolutely love mint chocolate. I'm going to Ireland next week and they have a mint crisp chocolate bar in Ireland, which I am utterly obsessed with. And I need to make sure that I buy like hundreds of packets of it to bring home because it is my favorite of all time. Let's do a little taste test. That is so nice. Do you know what it is as well? Dairy milk is so creamy, but the mint in that doesn't make it feel sickly. It kind of freshens it up a bit. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's a good one. That's actually quite comparable to the one that I love from Ireland. It's not exactly the same, but it's very close. That's nice. Um. Okay, aside from all of the sweet treats, I ended up going to, they were all from B&M by the way, I also ended up going to the range and I got myself a couple of baubles. So they all are the same and as you can see, I've already decorated my Christmas tree, but I just love these. I'm really trying to get into a more traditional style and theme with the Christmas decorations over time. So I thought like this red and like this burgundy red and the forest green colors on these baubles would be a nice transition. We've got a bit of room on the Christmas tree to add some baubles. They're from the range and they were like one pound 80 each, just under six pounds for those three baubles. I then went into Dunelm and bought a couple of things. The thing that I was mainly after, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So I ended up picking up two of these candelabras. I think that's what you call them. Um, these were eight pounds each. Now, the intention with these is that I'm going to snip each of the candlesticks off, like around here, so that it's just the candlestick on a stem. And then I'm gonna stick each of the stems into the oasis in the, um, garland over the fireplace because I've got those LED candles from Lights for Fun so the candles will sit in here the stem will sit in the, in the oasis and then I can control the whole garland with a remote control so in the evenings the whole garland can have like a candle effect uh, over the top as well but the only thing is with these I don't know how I'm going to snip this off because it feels like proper iron what is this actually made from? 100% metal. I don't know if it's going to be a job where I'm able to like bend the prongs back and forth and over time the metal will... <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think this is going to work how I want it to work. We'll have to see. That's the idea anyway. But these will be really pretty even as just like a centerpiece in the dining table. So I could still use these if I can't manage to like you know, cut one of them off. I'll still use these to dress the dining table for Christmas day. I then got something a little bit random. I really suffer with bad neck, like tension in my muscles and I'm often left with like a headache or I feel like my whole neck and shoulders area is so heavy. They had a couple of hot water bottles, but in like different shapes, there was a U one, which you can put across your the nape of your neck. And obviously with hot water in it, it's probably gonna just help to loosen your muscles over time. But I don't know, I just thought, oh, I feel like that's a bit of a commitment with the hot water, like, I don't know. I just didn't like the like the, the sound of it. But then my friend saw this one and it's a neck heatable. I think you just pop this in the microwave. Yeah, place a small cup of cold water, half full in the microwave next to the heatable. Heat the heatable for one and a half minutes. I think you put the cup of water in there, it evaporates and that's what heats the heatable up. I can just loop that around the base of my neck. Actually, let's see if it'll even, Bit. but also the good thing about this is I could also use it like on my stomach during that time of the month like if any of us if my feet feel cold in the bottom of the bed like this is quite diverse compared to the, the other one you know I hope that it fits over my neck though saying all of this oh yeah see that's nice oh, I feel like that could that would be really nice if that was warm just like laying in bed getting all cozy and then i also picked up some ribbon um i had already ordered some ribbon and i think it's just arrived because i've got an amazon package in front of me but i picked up some ribbon from Dunal. this was £2.50 you get three meters it's i think it's about 60 centi uh, six centimeters in width and it also does have the wire 
built into it so that you can kind of manipulate it. As I was saying with the baubles, I'm really trying to transition us slowly into that kind of traditional red and green theme for Christmas. And I really loved this, the shade of this. I picked three of these up. So it ended up coming to £7.50 for nine meters. And the one that I got from Amazon, which is here, was £9 for 10 meters. So, it works out very slightly cheaper from Dunelm. You can always return them. I didn't want to not buy them just in case the Amazon one came and it wasn't the right shade, but I have a feeling they're going to be very similar. Yeah, they are. I think these are exactly the same. They're exactly the same. And if you get up close, they've both got a gold stitching either side. And this one has the wire in the side as well. Oh, in fact, the one from Dunelm must be 70 millimeters because it's ever so slightly wider than the... Amazon one but the Amazon one was super convenient to be fair and it's called Eleganza Velvet Ribbon with Wired Edge Burgundy number 17 60 mils by 10 meters so yeah this is 10 meters still great quality and good value for money I will leave this linked down below for you in case you want to go and grab some of this yourself I thought I'd just take you on a day go and shopping with my friends see all the Christmas stuff that's out at the moment anyway I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave me a like even if you're on the TV you can leave me a like it's so so simple it makes such a difference to my videos and kind of like the reach of them if you don't mind thank you very much anyway i will see you in the next one take care guys bye Mwah.